Hello, so they just launched this whole new feature in this game um, called Guild Quest. This is a brand new scene. I didn't even know about this until I was like, this. until I was recording my Let's Play and all of a sudden it pops up. I'm like, wait, what the heck is this? Um, so Guild Quest, earn quest, re earn quest points and prestige by completing Guild Quests. Quest, personal quest for progress, rewards, reset daily, learn more. The player has a personal set of constant quests to complete during the day. The number of quests depends on a player's team level. Quests fall into groups, become available progressively from the simplest to the more challenging ones. Player earns quest points and prestige for completing quests. Reward depends on the quest's group, team level requirements, and difficulty, but it remains fixed across the current prestige cycle. End of day. Player's activity results are calculated at the end of the day. All finished quests that were not completed manually are automatically completed, and quest points are added to the daily points. First rewards unlocked depend on the total score. The prestige earned for completing these quests is counter towards previous day's progress. Quest points are accumulated over the day and reset when the day ends. At the same time, quest once player has earned enough quest points, they claim a reward from the personal progress bar. When the day ends, all available and claimed rewards will be mailed to the player. Daily requirements and rewards remain mixed throughout the prestige cycle. Uh, unclaimed per personal rewards available to the player will be mailed to them once they leave the guild. Quests will not be paused and the player will continue the progress in them without being notified if the player joins any guild before the current game a day ends they will be able to complete the quest as part of their new guild otherwise the finished quest if there are any will automatically be completed if the player has scored enough quest points to claim the remaining personal rewards the rewards will also be melted them prestige earned for quests that were completed automatically and not count towards any guild's progress all right All right, so what have we got here? Like that, I just talk, look, talk, looked at all these in my other one. I think, think there's looks like they're the same on this account as well. So they did say team level on one thirty on both. So this problem for most of you is going to be this look like this. Um, prestige, earn prestige and collect prestige level rewards alongside your guild. Prestige level becomes available once the players contribute enough and are reset when a prestige cycle ends. I'm guessing ninety nine is the the maximum. Oh, so this is different here guild prestige all guild members regardless their team level or join date earn prestige for completing guild quests and unlock prestige levels each with its own reward all guild members can claim uh each reward once per cycle as long as they've met its individual conditions the standard prestige cycle lasts four weeks once the cycle ends the prestige levels reset and all unclaimed rewards are mailed to the current guild members. The cycle's prestige level requirements are and rewards the same across all guilds, respective of the number of members of their, and of their stats. Theme cycles, some prestige cycles are associated with the game events. Their duration, requirements, and prestige level rewards may differ from the standard cycles. A pop-up will notify the players of this at the start of the cycle. Bonus for rookies and extra quests for veteran players. Players below team level 40 earn one and a half uh, times prestige for available quests. That said, uh, play, starting from team level 40, players unlock more quests with extra generous rewards, including prestige date quest points. When a player leaves the guild, they are mailed all unclaimed prestige level rewards and all prestige they have earned during the cycle deck from the guild's portal. Prestiges may cause guild's prestige level to go down. In that case, all available rewards unclaimed by the guild mails will automatically melt them before you lock them out of their rewards. When joining a new guild or returning to a previous guild, the player starts earning prestige from scratch. This current cycle's rewards they have already claimed become unavailable. All right, so changing guilds might be a bit of a problem after with this new feature. New prestige cycle begins. You can obtain uh, all this stuff and other things. Marksman box, prestige trophy. Okay, orange equipment, fragments, skin stones. Blue healer box. Okay, a bunch of equipment boxes of what these are. What's the prestige? Top. Top prize reward guild for the dedication person earning prestige levels. Okay. All you need to do is complete and complete quests alongside guilds. What are you waiting for? I guess I'm in. We can close this out, but I think when I hit I'm in, so I can claim this. Claim this. So if you get to level 71 plus get a prestige trophy so it's like another season experience thing isn't it does it go does it concurrent with the season so 25 days but just concurrent with the season yep 25 day okay so runs concurrently with the season um it's in the quest tab right and then there's all these daily quests 
upgrading titans. These might auto complete if all your titans were, like I said, if you, all your titans are like maximum power. Um, so this also changed the overview tab. Like it's right here Guild War, Leaderboard, Gold. So Prestige. Okay, so I see your contributions here add up there. This is just, I think it's just like a different presentation. Or like the daily activity points and stuff. It's like they change how this is presented. Quest, your prestige. We have also the guild master presence. Statistics. Okay, so yeah, these are all... These are the old things. They're just like presentedly differently. They've also changed the rankings board thing. This is all new UI too. Prestige is here. Guild prestige. So we're not even ranked. Oh, wow. Look at those, some of these guilds here. Yeah, look. All these are... So change that. Um, so let's go see if we can do any of these quests here. Forty in any mode. In any mode, deal damage. All right. Can we? Do we have any? All right. Nebula doll, I should claim that. Well, we'll claim, let's spend some energy. Come on. Ah, it's this tab. Gosh. All right, spend energy. Okay. It was like I spend gold on my main account, so we just have to spend some gold. I know where we can spend a lot of gold. No more items craft. Okay. I guess that's the end of that quest chain. Great Titans. So let's see. All right. All right, first kill in the Grand Arena. Let's see here. So this goes. Or used her for a skill quite a bit of times. Oh no, lost Isaac. All right, go oh, Jew. There you go. Nice. Hopefully that was the number of times we needed to do the thing. All right, damage.
I've only used my first skills 39 times, apparently. Or, or did I get enough? Maybe I did clean, complete it. I thought I said only 39, but then I completed, so maybe. We're actually, okay, look at how cool. I really that green. Build activity, some Titanite. Energy. This is like the worst reward ever. You get divination cards. Those are like, so you can spend more time in the dungeon because that's something everybody wants to do. You all want to spend more time in the dungeon. Cup or oh, you can skip them. That counts. Okay, is that just because we can? Because I can just. Oh, right. Is it because I already did my arena fights for the day? Is that what that means? I don't know. Because I've already done my arena fights for the day. Well, that was dungeoning mode. 500 mission. Got more energy, so. Might be something we want to do. But, uh. Yeah, I know you all love digital chores and they just decide to give you a whole lot more daily chores, so we all know you love them, so apparently. They must, at least they think you love them, so. Um. Hieroglyphs the Forge. Power. Alright. Alrighty here. Bad, not so properly spaced anymore. Because these are all properly spaced. It doesn't look like my character tower coins are properly spaced anymore. They're just kind of scrunched together. So that might be something to you. I don't think they. I don't think they were always like that. Seems like they used to a proper spacing. All right. Nice. Skip. Okay, 494. Um, skin stones. Have we even done our level up hero skins today? No, we have not. Yeah, it looks like these numbers are all. Yeah, they messed up the. So that's a mess. Guess that's the end of that quest chain. Runes will probably do later. Entry mode. Art, art for Tain artifacts. I don't even know what we would need. Ascension crystal, ascension spire. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Upgrade. I can't even do these. But I can't. Like, all my pets are maxed. So that one should auto-complete or let me skip it. Because uh, I can't. I literally can't do this one. So this is a bug right here. I literally can't do this quest. That should be a... That should be a daily complete. Um, give the elements. So, yeah, look, all these numbers are not working right anymore. I remember who I was working on. Distracted about this new thing. Um, sure. XP potion. Mark's power. Make purchases from shop. Oh, this should be an easy one. We'll buy the thing I always need. Gold. 
go. That should be a lot of purchases. We should claim all these too. I did not do a video on Foundation Power this time because I got at all the we had the new season drop at the same time and I just totally spaced it, so we're just gonna claim all these two since we're here. Night Dungeon. Alright, well, we can get this one. Oh, we can get a thing. I mean, I can raid. Boom. Look at that raid. Nice. Alright. Campaign mission. Oh boy, 25 daily quests. I mean, we, we don't have that many left, so we can just skip it. Oh, we've almost got almost all those done. Yeah, I can't buy those. Um, Paint artifacts. Oh, is your prestige cap out, though, at 50? Is that, like, the most you can earn in a single day is 650? Doesn't look like it's going up even we're still claiming quests, so let's let's try doing the Oh boy. Three points. Okay, so for the so this is for the daily enchant glyph. So we've done this. Yeah, it's this whole new menu thing's gonna mess me up. So what do we even need from Frisk. Okay, so probably want to do Brew Star then. I have so many. I could probably just about max out all these guys here. Oh, yep. So you're capped at 650 a day. So doing anything beyond that doesn't matter. No point in continuing to do that, it looks like. So. After you got all your dailies, I don't think it helps your guild any. Maybe it does, I don't know, but, uh, doesn't, or, oh, wait, no, that's your, my prescription, oh, maybe it, wait, each progress, does this count all the stuff I've done? Uh, 13,000, maybe it does. We should check this here. It's not showing me anything here, but maybe twelve thousand. So let's let's do this. So this is gonna be a long gameplay video because I'm learning everything we can about this because we need to answer all these questions. Nice, and so this should get us the 12 million damage. Alright. Okay, so. 40 to 30. Okay. There. Okay, so you can keep going. Okay, so it isn't pointless to continue doing that. Okay, so yep, so you get more daily chores, everybody. All right, I cannot do this one though. So, so this is a uh, bug. I'll probably have to talk to talk to Dan uh, Daniel about that one. Um, and Glyph for one hundred fifty points. So I'll probably do that. Uh, after my day resets, because that's usually when I do my glyphs, so. 
Uh, yeah, I think that's about it, though. Not too much more to talk about this. Um, just trying to get your daily quests for some daily rewards. Some of the rewards kind of suck, though, like extra dungeon cards, like... Yay. So now you can have... Uh... 35 today. Yeah, it's, it's not an exciting one, that's for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, not too much more I talked about. We did just launch a new island and so- Oh, whoa! Mysterious Island gets a new- Look at this! Mysterious Island gets a new... Facelift. Oh, wow. No? I was gonna think, maybe the road, the paved ones are a help, but no, look at this. Um, maybe it's a slightly faster path? No, that's not one. No, it's actually about the same distance. Yeah, so that's, that's all new, too. Yeah, they paved the roads. Yeah, I don't know if the paved, paved roads actually don't seem like the worst paths to take. Of course, you don't know if the road's paved, which one's going to be paved until after you reveal it, so... I guess it's actually... I guess it's actually not that much of a help, because uh, you won't know if a tile's paved till after you reveal it, though. I guess if you end up in the boonies, you might want to try a different one, but, uh... You can see, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... I don't think that's faster, so if you went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Yeah, so this is actually one tile faster going this way rather than going that way, so not necessarily the fastest route, so yeah, uh yeah, that's that's totally different too, but I did just do a full video about this, though, if you want to see like, what, like, how many moves you need to the various parts, uh, you can check out that video down below, and as always, thank you for watching.